Welcome back. You know, it's been a busy Friday for entertainment news, including some new movies to look forward to on Netflix. Yeah, we've been busy with music all morning, mm -hmm. but we need to check out uh, some good stuff to check in this weekend. Spend some time escaping from the heat and the safety of your nice, cool living room. We want to welcome back extra entertainment movie critic Erin Keeney with her reviews this week of a new action movie. But first, Erin, uh, I know you got some new Netflix news for us. I do, yeah, a lot of big stuff. Good morning to you both and happy Friday. Happy mm -hmm. Friday. Yes, sitting in the air conditioning is gonna be key this weekend. So I have some great stuff for all of you to watch. Um, Netflix, a lot of big stuff going on over there. Uh, the streaming giant is set to launch its most expensive production yet. So this is a $200 million spy thriller uh, starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, and it's called uh, The Gray Man. So this is based on a book series of the same name. And this um, series is coming to us from the Russo brothers. And you might not know their name, but you know their work. They're behind uh, Avengers Endgame, which is the most lucrative film in Ooh, history. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> Talking here, Yeah, they're a pretty dynamic duo. And the hope over there is that this will launch a spy thriller, kind of a James Bond situation, you know, for Netflix. And um, the series has 10 books so far, so they have a lot of material uh, to work with. So it should be pretty exciting. And I think uh, on this end of things, it's hopeful news that we can get some of these thousands of people out of work in Hollywood mm -hmm. back and back to the jobs that they love so yeah and that's some that's some real big screen power for yeah, netflix so definitely it'll be cool to see mm -hmm. how that turns out they don't mess around well yeah and charlie's Theron, i guess actually going to be in something too yeah uh, speaking of some big names yeah. over there um, there's a new original film called the old guard and this is breaking streaming records right now over on netflix um this film is based on the comic book of the same name and here um charlie's theron stars as the leader of this army of immortal mercenaries so they're all centuries old and they have this ability to heal themselves so it's really cool to kind of watch them in different iterations through time um, but once they discover that someone is on to their secret they must fight back of course uh, for their freedom so the film is directed by gina prince bythewood and it also stars uh, Kiki Lane as kind of the rookie uh, fighter and uh, Matthias Schoenartz, who's one of my favorites you see there, um, also stars. And I have to tell you, it is so fun to watch Charlize Theron <laughs> in a role like this, just kind of, you know, kicking butt and, <laughs> and in charge. So she is great in this film. And honestly, I like this movie a lot more than I expected to. I'm not always book person I, I will say that and it, it was just a lot of fun very enjoyable it's just over two hours um but it's a lot of you know high action and, and a lot of fun oh, i like check it out i, I like love watching her. charlie see I'm, yeah. I'm not always the biggest action person so right. maybe this is the action movie for me that's yes. one i could handle mm -hmm. um hey we want to switch gears here from some movies to some documentaries because there's some some new ones out this week Yes, absolutely. Well, you both know last week we lost, you know, two icons in the civil rights movement, um, Congressman John Lewis and Reverend C.T. Vivian, um, both leaders, you know, died on the same day last Friday. Um, so I highlighted two documentaries to watch um, to celebrate their legacy. First up, a brand new documentary called John Lewis, Good Trouble. Um, you probably know Lewis had a famous quote, get in good trouble, necessary trouble, and help redeem the soul of America. So we get to see kind of behind the scenes how he <laughs> stirred up some good trouble through his life, uh, wealth of archive footage, interviews with John Lewis, uh, his son, Hillary Clinton, and even the late Elijah Cummings, um, to name a few. We also get to hear the story of how he first met uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., which is such a sweet story. Um, and we get to hear about his love of music and dancing and uh, the chickens that he took care of when he was a kid, his beloved chicken. So it's so great because he was such a persistent and inspiring leader. Um, but what I loved was seeing all the joy uh, that John Lewis brought to the fight. So this one is a lot of fun, brand new. Um, and also streaming free on PBS right now, the Emmy-winning documentary, Freedom Writers. Um, so this is from acclaimed director, Stanley Nelson Jr. and uh, producer, Lorenz Grant. And this marked the 50th anniversary of um, the first Freedom Ride back in May, 1961. So mm. this follows um, the story, you know, behind those courageous writers, black and white groups, um, you know, who took buses uh, through the American South to protest to protest segregated bus terminals. So um, C.T. Vivian and John Lewis, uh, both freedom riders here. So you get to see the experience um, of this. This one too is about two hours, I think. Uh, and it's just, it's really, really incredible. You have a lot of, a lot of history here um, for that celebration. So those are, those are two that I recommend this weekend. And I have to say, if you are not left feeling inspired, you know, to carry on the legacy, uh, to carry on your own work uh, in this life, then I don't know what to tell you. These are yeah. two 
inspiring documentaries. I think we'll watch uh, at least one of them this weekend with the girls because yeah. we're trying to te you know teach them more about the the civil rights movement and just everything that's going There's on just right so now. So much stuff coming out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Real quickly, uh, for those who want some nostalgia, <laughs> what is your summer flashback pick this weekend? <laughs> Going back to the 80s again, 1984, the original Karate Kid. Uh, you probably know this one. Well, Ralph, Ralph Macchio there stars as a teenager. Uh, he moves to California with his mom. Uh, he gets bullied. He starts dating Elizabeth Shue, uh, kind of the popular girl in the clique. Um, so a bunch of uh, karate students start to bully him uh, there. So the Japanese landlord, uh, Mr. Miyagi, who we all know, uh, Pat Morita, he, he teaches Daniel, uh, karate, and some important life lessons. So Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita, and Elizabeth Shue, the original Karate Kid. You know, there's been other iterations. Mm -hmm. And there's a series called Cobra Kai. I oh, love it. Three. <laughs> it's so good. Have you watched it? What? Have you watched Cobra Kai? I have not yet. Oh, so that's, that is next. Either. Have you not? Or? No. I have. I've watched both seasons. It's on YouTube TV. I oh, think okay. it's their red TV or whatever they call it. But um, it's really good. Yeah. Watch I, I recommend out. that after watching Karate Was Kid. It wax on, wax off, right? Yes. Yeah, there we that go. That is that. All right. Erin, thanks for keeping <laughs> us updated on all the latest in entertainment. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back next week. Thank you so much. You too. Yeah.